Good evening and welcome to Crafting by Moonlight. This tutorial is going to be a real quick tutorial before I head off to bed. I'm going to show you how to make two different types of playing card bow ties. We have the single card bow ties. This one I punched holes in because on Pinterest a woman had stuck um, a length of chain on it and then wore it as a necklace, which I thought was pretty cute. But I have a different idea in mind. Um, and then also we're going to do the double bow tie, which is actually two cards, and it gives it a little bit more of a fan, which I kind of like. Um, it's more of the classic bow tie look, and you can also um, attach these to hair clips or headbands and things like that. Um, this one I think I might wind up sticking on a, a clip like that. I don't know how I'm going to do it just yet. Um, and then maybe even sticking it like that and placing it in the hair. Well, the other way around. Placing it in the hair just like that. That would be kind of cute. Just like this. So let's get started. You're going to need glue dots as usual. You're also going to need um, a deck of playing cards, which if you have already watched and done um, the playing card rose tutorial. You should have some cards left over, which would be easy to use for these. I'm using the king and the eight because eight is for my daughter's birthday, and the king is because um, I'm going to give the bow ties to the boys. I figured. I actually made a few left over for, for the girls as well. And then you're also going to need some ribbon. Um, and we're going to talk, we're going to discuss um, fray ribbon and things like that this evening. So let's get started. Let's start with the classic bow tie with the one card. So I need another eight. So I'm going to do this one real easy. You're going to take it and fold it over to where the eight over here is just visible. So when you do that, you want to fold it just past that eight and try to make a, um, a straight fold. That's kind of hard to do when you're doing it towards the camera. So I'm going to do it this way this time. And you can pick it up and fold it this way as well. And once you have it folded, as I'm doing as such, and this one I kind of messed up on, that's okay. Um, once you have it folded, you're going to take your glue dots, which I left my other ones in the other spot. Um, you're only going to need two, so I'm going to rip off two here. And you're going to place one in between this set of diamonds and this curve. Smash it together. Oh, and since I kind of messed up, which actually, probably just fold that over just like that. And then stick another glue dot in between. Oops. There we go. Do this and then you're going to try to fan it out as gently as possible. And actually, you probably want to put your ribbon around it first before you do that. So you're going to need two glue dots for that. So four glue dots all together for this project. You're going to put one kind of on the bottom. Then you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to wrap it around. And I actually want to do a complete wrap around, but with this glue dot on the bottom, it gives the ribbon something to hold on to. And you can put the other ribbon or the other glue dot right on top. And what I was going to discuss with you this evening is that. A lot of times I see people that do a lot of handmade stuff, which I totally support. Um, 
considering the fact that I'm a crafter myself. But I notice like things like this. Now, if you're making these to sell these, um, you want to put a dab of uh, super glue, or you could even do some clear nail polish, or they even have a no spray or no fray. Um, it's like a um, it's something to put on the end of ribbon and material so it doesn't fray. Hence the name no fray. Um, but you want to do that so that your product doesn't unravel. Because if someone's paying five dollars for your product, even if it's just a simple card and a ribbon, you don't want that to fray and come undone because then the person feels like they didn't get their money's worth. Um, that's one of the reasons why you don't see me use a lot of hot glue because um, a few years ago I had went to my county fair and there was a woman um, selling these hair, hair bows and there were adorable bows and my daughter wanted one so bad so I went ahead and got her one and um, actually my sister-in-law's mother-in-law got her one and it was adorable but then a few weeks later it just fell apart because there was so much hot glue that it literally just fell apart and you want to be careful boning these out because like you've already seen I've already ripped it this one I probably won't be using anyways I like the double bow ties but this is the simple bow tie, this is the one bow tie, the one card bow tie, and then what I would suggest is, is instead of doing the, um, the hole punches in the middle of it, um, something that I would like to do instead would be to tack a little bit of um, your, uh, ribbon to the back of this, and then on both sides, and then um, put a little bit of Velcro or snap on it. So that's the singles. And then let's go ahead and do a double. So the double is done the same way the single is done. You're going to go ahead and fold the cards. Try to get it four folds. So I'm going to focus on what I'm doing here and quickly try to fold this. And I did, I got four folds out of that. So four folds is what you're going to try to do. And then we're going to go ahead and fold our king the same way. Once again, I'm going to try to focus on what I'm doing. And with the king, I actually folded it kind of on that line, on that little blue line here at the edge. Um, that's where I folded this. I'm going to go back. Fold over again. I can see this is already crimping and turning sideways, but that's okay. And then I'm actually going to fold to compensate. Okay. So this one's a little crooked, but that's okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have a king on this side and we have an eight on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and take my glue dots. And this time I'm not going to glue in between. I'm only going to glue the two sides. Um, so you're still going to need two glue dots. You're still going to need four total. <clears throat> but we're going to take our first glue dot and not do it in the middle. We're actually going to put it on the side. So let me get this on and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. So anyways, um, so yeah, when you do handmade crafts, um, people are willing to buy them. Just make it worth their while. If you're charging five, ten dollars for a barrette that they know probably didn't cost five, ten dollars to make because basically you're paying for the, they're paying for your time, which in a lot of ways is is better um, then please make it worth their while that's all I'm asking because I don't mind spending you know a hundred dollars on something that's handmade if it's made right um, a friend of mine and I were having this discussion yesterday about that where 
she bought a blanket off of Etsy and she paid $200 for the blanket and it was made out of Red Heart brand yarn and I'm not a big fan of Red Heart unless it's an emergency um, like I I need to whip out a blanket this weekend and the only colors that that they have like camo um, I can only get it from Red Heart <clears throat> but even then it just it's not something that I would charge two hundred dollars for a blanket even even a clean size it's not something I would charge two hundred for so anyways we have our our two dots are on both both ends here so we're gonna line up this card with this card we're gonna push that together And we're going to go ahead and fold this back up. We're going to put the glue dots, pull off two here. There we go. We're going to stick a glue dot right in the middle. put that face up because I still have another glue dot on there. We're going to lay our ribbon on it. I'm going to wrap. I'm going to place our other glue dot kind of towards the top, towards the front end of your cards. Only because when we wrap it back around we're going to tuck which what we did on the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And actually, I'm, before I do that, I actually want to try to wrap mostly all the way around. That way I know where to cut. I'll cut right there. And then what we're going to do is tuck this end here. Like I said, you can use um, clear nail polish you can use a bit of glue you could even use another glue dot but I'm trying to fold this over sometimes it works really easily and sometimes it doesn't and then press really firm and kind of smash that in there and if you want the added um, well if you're gonna go ahead and glue this onto something then you can um, Put it in towards the back, maybe, like back here, and then use a little bit of hot glue, just a little bit of hot glue. And then very gently, and I do mean gently since I ripped the other one, fan that out and just pull and keep pulling and kind of, kind of push the middles just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, just to kind of make it fan a little bit. Push the middles down a little bit, push those peaks down, kind of stretch them out. And then you might need to do this for a few times a day, every day before your party or whatever you're going to wear it to. So try to make this a couple of days in advance to kind of like play with it and get it to bow out a little bit. Maybe pull on both of them very gently together to bring them out together. You can use lighter string too, or lighter ribbon. Um, I'm sure that would work. Or thinner, thinner ribbon. Um, I like the wide look. And then you can do the same thing. Like I said, you can take a piece of ribbon and um, attach to each side, and then put a snap in the back or um, a little bit of Velcro, and make it work that way. And there you go. You have a double um, a double bow tie made out of playing cards. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, like and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments box below. As always, I'm Alice, and thank you for watching Crafting by Moonlight. Have a good evening.